All right, we're gonna tie a sparkle maggot for you. This is on a Daiichi 1120 number 10. Uh, we got a black bead on the front of it. Start the thread right behind the bead and bring it back. Get a little thread base. Now we're gonna tie in a piece of mono. Use like five or six pound mono. This is gonna be used to create a rib uh, in the fly later. Keep that on the near side of the hook shank. And bring it down right into the band. Now this fly can be done in uh, white, uh, chartreuse, or the the kind of standard color is a caddis green, and it's all done with uh, ice dub. So dub in a pretty small amount of this stuff. Goes a long way. We want to build up a nice even taper through the body of this fly. Keep adding more dubbing as needed. We need to leave a little bit of room at the head of the fly to build a collar. <clears throat> the body dubbed up, so let's spin the rib around it. It's probably going to be pretty tough to see that mono, but I want to do oh, about five or six turns of the mono. See that helps add a nice segmentation to the body. Clip off our excess. I use two pieces of peacock curl. Tie them in near the tips. Break off the tag ends. And a couple turns of the peacock. Whip finish, and we are done. Wicked effective fly all over the place. Catches trout, steelhead, salmon. It's a good one.